Welcome back, guys, to the sixth ever episode of the Galgo Games podcast. I'm your host, Zach. Uh, today, joined by Connor. What's up? And Owen. Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> so, uh, again, since last week, not too much to report, I don't think, is there? Nah, not really. On our end, at least. We, we've had a couple of new shows, the Overwatch show, which we'll talk about a bit later. Uh, if you are interested in the Overwatch League, you might want to go and check that out. Um, but apart from that, we're kind of just running on the same schedule for now. Nothing new's happening. Uh, it's been similarly quiet in the world of video games, so this might be a bit of a shorter podcast today. So what we're going to do, is, I guess a new thing, I'm trying, I'm trying to think some new segments to spice it up, is we're going to play a game. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't think it'll take that long. And I feel like it's kind of like a... No, I'm not going to give anything away. So basically the game is, because of Crackdown 3 coming out recently and it being not great, if you are watching Microsoft's I retract all statements as <laughs> usual, um, Crackdown 3 is sits at a 60 on Metacritic with a 4.3 user score. So, as as usual, I guess, another stinker for Microsoft. <laughs> is, is that user score out of 10? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't know this guy. So, I, th- I think with Crackdown, the first one was good, and then everyone since has been bad. Uh, no, no, I think the two might have been good, I actually. No, well. I think I think I don't know if two is special or, like at all. I think that was the one that competed with Saints Row, right? And was, like, pretty bad. Yeah. But, I, right. but what's I funny... I played two a little bit. Um... Fucking Microsoft! I swear they cut off like all of their um, their good exclusives, and then Crackdown, State of Decay, and there was another game as well that they had an exclusive, and they've all been shit. Yeah, I can't remember what the third one is, but I know they've had uh, State of Decay two, which was well, awful had, like, apparently, and then this. They had Rise like when the Xbox first oh, came. Quick time events, the oh. game. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. Well, wasn't that the same? There was a PlayStation equivalent, like Vampire something, wasn't it? Uh, the Order was. Oh, the yeah, kind of like about, a, yeah. a good-looking game. That was oh terrible. my god! The, yeah, oh my god! The Order wasn't it like yeah. two hours long it or something? Just, it was just yeah. this is very short. Just to show off how pretty the graphics were. Yeah. Yikes, dude! So, so we can't this just game. Blame- we can't just blame cool. Microsoft. Oh no, no, no! For sure, for sure, for sure. Other, it's just, other, no, it's just other that they companies do it. Yeah. Well. it's just because they dropped like games that people mm. were excited about, like Scalebound, which we might talk about later. Yeah. So, well, this game basically, what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, I know I've researched this. I want to know if you guys can kind of pick the top three highest rated Xbox exclusives <laughs> on Metacritic. Is this on Xbox One? No. Yeah, Xbox One and PC, obviously, because that's just how they work these yeah. days. The highest. So if you think about exclusive. what, say that again, Owen. The highest rated exclusive. Correct. I don't know about you, Owen, but I haven't played my Xbox since Halo Five. Well, so well, if, if it includes ones that are on PC, surely Sea of Thieves would be there. No. <gasps> wow. Wow. Rip. <laughs> um... Interesting. Forza. Yeah. Which one? Horizon? Uh, I would say one of... Which one? <laughs> the newest? Horizon. Wait, no, no, wait. No, I wouldn't say the newest. I'd say the w- one before the newest. I can't remember what number it's on. So, I think three, not four. So, there has been four Forza Horizon games. Yeah, the fourth one is in the UK, which I don't think yep, has correct. been received very well, but the one before was in Australia, which I think did really well. All right. I think. Any... any uh... Do you agree with that, Connor, or are you rebutting that no, statement? No, I'd go with that one. Right, so Owen, you're going to go for Forza Horizon 3 as the number one rated Xbox game. Oh, number one? Uh, one in the top yep. three? <laughs> well, okay, so Forza Horizon 3 yeah. is in the top three. Pog. Okay. I won't tell you what position, but it is in there. All uh, right, that's cool. Fuck. I've got one. <laughs> what, do they, what do they even have, man? <clears throat> um... Yeah. I mean, uh, is Halo in there? Nope. Are we allowed to open the the Windows Store to have a look at games? <laughs> right, that's, that's, that's cheating, right? <laughs> or do I have to just go maybe off you my, could, my, my brain? Maybe you could look at oh, um, what about um, the Wikipedia? Oh, but... what, what's it called? There's like um. Oh. Oh, I'm, this is going to do my head in. Uh, I've got the picture of the in my head. I'm opening the store. Describe it. It's like a 
um, a police officer with a white mask. It's like cartoony. Oh, um, we happy few. Yeah, we happy Something few. Like that? Yeah. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> um, well, there goes that. Was that a cat? No, that was me. Sorry, that was me. Oh. Me- Metro is so, not exclusive to it, is it? No, it's no, too new. No. It's too new. It's, it's also even if it was, it didn't rate as highly as these games. Fuck it, I, I, I give actually, up. Actually, it is. It is technically an Xbox exclusive. I right? give up. Okay, so I, Forza I, Horizon I, Three was the basically is in second place. Mm. Right. Okay. Are we giving up with one and three? I d- I don't want to give up, but am I allowed to look at the store just to have a look at names? So I can't remember. Can have a quick look. Can have a quick. I look. just can't think of any games that are on the Xbox exclusively. Yeah, I, I, I tend to just. Avoid well, that's the problem, isn't it? Really, with that's that's the whole story of the generation. Yeah. Uh, um. Fucking under Xbox exclusives on the store, Mortal Kombat 11's on there. I'm pretty sure it's not Xbox not exclusive. Incorrect. That is not exclusive. straight lies. Um. <laughs> fucking. Uh, 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 the div- You're gonna hate me when you when you know what the I'm division. It's not, not exclusive. exclusive. Of course, it's not. Why would it be under um, Xbox exclusives? Xbox Store. I can't even find an Xbox exclusive section. Just load. And what I could game. do is I could. Can you hint at the, the mm. like the type of game? Okay, so I can't. I'm not gonna hint at the type of game. Okay, or but s- the other two are also part of franchises. Long-running franchises. The same franchises? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Forza I guess that Horizon it away. That's too 2 much information. Forza Horizon 1? Gears of War? <laughs> no Gears of War. Oh, and you were incorrect with those two shots. <laughs> okay. Uh... Forza Motorsport 6. <laughs> <laughs> correct. That is number three. What? Really? <laughs> yep. Wow. It's the last one another <laughs> racing game. Yes. You're kidding all racing me! Racing games. <laughs> oh what is it? God. Go on. What is it? So the number one game. Well, let's start on the, the back. Yes. Yeah. So Forza Motorsport Six is number three with an eighty-seven. Forza Horizon Three is number two with a ninety-one, and topping them off is Forza Horizon Four with a ninety-two. Oh wow! Okay. So Owen, you were, you were, you didn't mention it at the start, I, but I you did. did you, but like, I, you wrote it off as I, the bad one. Yeah, I thought. Four didn't get received as well as three did. No, yeah, apparently it's the best one. <laughs> huh. Oh I'll my! Shoot, I'll, I'll, I've got the Game Pass and it's on that. I'll have a. I'll have to have a look yeah. at that. Yeah. I'll so just, if, if you had look, go on away. No, I was. I, I was really. I, I. I remember watching some streams on day one, and then no one played it on the second day. So yeah. I just thought that no one enjoyed it. They probably got paid getting, to stream it on day I'm one and then can't be bothered. My, uh, for a second. Oh so, my god. That's insane. I don't know what that says. I don't know if that says that Forza what, is, is sells incredibly well or if it's Xbox is in a worse state than we thought. Well, well no, it's not even just sells, it's just rating. It's yeah, how good so, the game is. Forza games are usually pretty good. Mm, I'm sure they're good. It's just yeah. in the grand scope of like every other thing that they sell. Really? It's All of them are the top three. It's a bit of a variety wise, it doesn't really, it's not great, is it, for Xbox players? Not really. Do we have, do you have to, available to you number four and five out of interest? I have number four. Okay. Very different. Right. This is a game that is on PC, it's actually on Steam, not the Xbox. Well, it might also be on the Xbox store. Uh, that is Cuphead, is number four. Oh, right, okay. Okay. So very different. Very. Apparently, it, 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 came, it, it came out on PC after it did on Xbox, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. It, it was like a timed exclusive. Yeah, I think. So I just thought that was interesting. The fact that the top three games are all Forza games, That's mad. Yeah. especially in, it, on a console where you can play Halo, Gears of War. That, like you would expect those to be. You you would hope that those would be the top rated games. Right? That's crazy. Yeah. Can, can I ask for an, an another slightly? Do you have the overall Xbox rated, not just Xbox exclusive, and see where Forza sits on that? But look, just like any game on the Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, just yeah, just out of interest to see where, what what yeah, else is up there. Really. 
So I know that I think Red Dead 2 is number one. Right. It's loading up now. So Red Dead Redemption 2 is top with 97. Mm-hmm. Then GTA 5 with 97. So Rockstar doing all right. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 5 is third with 95. I'd like to learn another hint, Connor, to play that game. Uh, I mean, one, Celeste, one day, one day. <laughs> Celeste, 94. Inside, 93. And then Forza Horizon 4 at 92. So it's about okay. six down. Damn, dude. Fair enough. But, I mean, I just think that's interesting. That's yeah. surely something that Microsoft know <laughs> needs to change next mm. to next generation. That or they're unless, just like... Unless that's their target. Maybe their target is just make really good racing games. <laughs> <laughs> from one, Who knows? From one company. Yeah. yeah. That's really funny. If, I don't know, you've oh, got there are other companies. Who cares? You've got to lead the market somewhere, don't you? I know, they, but they at the boys at last E3, they did buy out like loads of different devs, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they will start releasing some new stuff yeah. soon. I'm sure. Cool. Oh, right, that was interesting. So we'll move on. <laughs> yeah, interesting, interesting Genuinely little tidbit. interesting yeah. stuff. We'll move on to uh, some actual news. There's not not much to talk about, but we'll talk about the Nintendo Direct. We basically did, I think, yeah, all three of us were in the reaction. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah, we reacted to this. Rob, you... No, no, Sam. Sam. Yeah, Sam. No, Sam. Sam had literally no reaction to any game shown. <laughs> yeah. If you do care about that sort of thing, you can watch it on our channel now, at the Gallagher Boys on YouTube. Um... It was a pretty... It was fair to say underwhelming. Very, I would say. So, yeah. well, let's talk about negatives first. Um, no Bayonetta gameplay, which I'm sure you two are bothered about. More yeah. Than yeah. There's, there's no no gameplay and no... There wasn't even, like, another teaser or anything. Mm. It was just... Pretty much being it told was, it's oh, still being we, made. Yeah, there was like, we haven't forgotten about it. Don't yeah. worry. Maybe the next yeah. one. It's like, oh, fine. And, and that was on the back of the Astral Chain announcement because it's Platinum Games. Yeah. Mm. And that game looks pretty that cool. That game looks really looks... cool. I think I think that's a sort of... I liked the cyberpunk sort of world. Mm. I think that maybe that would get me more interested than it, like a Bayonetta it was, um, style. It was world. a collab of, lot, of a lot of big people. I forget the exactly who it was, but there was the Nier Automata guy. Um, yeah. Who else was there? There was the Bayonetta guy. And yeah, there it was, was ba- the... There was one more. Um... Is it like, it's not Devil May Cry, is it? I think no, it might No, it was been. something Man. I think, like, Man was the last... <laughs> I remember you saying something Man. I can't remember. I can't I'll remember Google it. Was. I'll Google it either way. I'll yeah, find I out. I thought it might have been yeah. one of the Devil May Cry guys. But it, it, it looks cool. Like, the, the combat looks pretty cool. It seems like you chained... Obviously, the name, I guess. Chained to uh, something else. Yeah, some like, other, some, like, like a familiar or something. Or something. Yeah. So maybe that would, some interesting stuff could come, could, looked, could come from that. It looks, looks very visually that probably pleasing out, like, as well. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it does look pretty, especially for a Switch game. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, I can't, it'd be interesting to see how it runs. Uh, yeah, I guess thirty frames. I don't, I don't know if it'll get sixty. Oh, okay. So it was Masakazu Katsura, who is he's the character designer for a manga called Zet Man. That's what the man That's was. It. Yeah, it's a, oh, a manga. Yeah. yeah. So I guess we're all kind of interested in that one. We'll see yeah, yeah I'm definitely interested. Yeah, it looks cool. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd get, I'd, uh, I'll get that. I'll get that. Yeah. So uh, other kind of negative, I guess, is on the Smash front. There was uh, nothing. No, no announcement of any new character. We were hoping for Sora. It was. Uh, just I, the, who knows? It was just the Smash uh, 3.0 update. Oh yeah, my god! To tell the us Smash 3.0 update, yeah. and then he goes, "What's in the Smash 3.0 update?" You'll have to wait and find out. Oh, what? <laughs> Why? Why yes. can't you just tell us? Why? Why do you do that? It's oh my god. So that it's classic. Nintendo. Yeah. Um. That and then basically just like oh, expect Joker before April. I think it was or before the end of April. Yeah. And they end showed his April, model. I think. Yeah. I mean, he looks good. He looks cool. I mean, we saw the back of him. That's it. He could have no faces for all we know right now. Yeah. But yeah, we saw the back of Joker. We know he has a knife. There you go. He's got a knife. I'm sure he has a gun. Um, is it a knife or is it a dagger? It's definitely a dagger. <laughs> definitely <laughs> a dagger. Uh, so, that's it though. But no, Sora. Yeah. Do we think? I know we've we've got we've got a video coming soon of Connor react. We've basically made lists of all our predictions for Smash characters. Yeah. Some people have taken it more seriously than others. <laughs> um, Sam. Do we? Do we? Do we think that Sora 
is what's the potential, Connor, of, of Sora actually? Being I, gen- in the game? I genuinely think dreaming? very high. I think Sora could definitely be in the game. Think about it; his archetype's yeah. already in the game. He's a floaty sword character. They've yeah. got plenty of him. Like every other character, yeah, yeah. Every other Fire Emblem character. He's a he's just going to be a variation be of Marth. Yeah, Marth could be a floaty sword boy. I'm 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 obviously I'm joking a bit, but he has a keyblade, so he's going to obviously be considered like a sword character. Um, yeah. And he's a lot of his combat in games is floaty. He's like his biggest combos are always aerial combos in the games. Yeah, yeah, they're the best. So. They could do that, but they could also incorporate the fact that he has like uh, spells like a Final Fantasy character, and they're slightly yep. more important. Like obviously, you see Cloud, and it's like, well, we just use his limit breaks because they're more important to him than Fira and Faraga. Whereas yeah. Sora, it's kind of important to use like Cure, Blizzara, Thundara, Fir- yeah, and, and, and the Fira. forms. Yeah, and if it goes off two, which I don't think it would. It'd probably go off three, so we get like second form or something. Maybe even maybe dark yeah. form, who knows? Or rage form, sorry. But I would love if the drive system got put in, so you could choose to go like a stance system where you could have valor, wisdom, yeah. increased spell power, increased physical damage, that kind of shit. Um, that sounds cool, but then I wouldn't be able to play him. So yeah. I'm gonna say no. But <laughs> I do think the chances of Sora are genuinely quite high. Like it sold incredibly well. Having your character, there is no downside ever to having your character in super smash brothers it's like the best selling game on wii or or, sorry on switch i don't know why i still call it wii (laughs) um the best selling game on a nintendo console it's huge people fucking adore this game it's amazing it's not like smash 4 where people kind of dwindled out and it sold really badly because of the wii u this is extremely successful game there's nothing there's no downside to having your character in this game also the fact that a persona 5 character got in who has no games on (laughs) that console also means that sora could get put in because he's also not on nintendo but they've got so many like if recently you know all the final fantasy games just came out on switch so square and nintendo have a friendship going on there so i think it is like there's like an 80 percent chance that sora gets put in this dlc uh, season yeah. I I have strong I, I, really I have so. strong feelings that Stro- that Sora will successfully make it into the game. Is is there going to be seasons or is it going to be this is the pass that's it? No, I think there'll be seasons because that's what they did in the old games. It's just that now they're actually taking it like seriously. Like the the problem with Smash, Sakurai didn't like Smash being an esport game, right? But mm-hmm. Smash is like the shining example of the developer doesn't get to choose it's an esport game the community <laughs> decides which is how to be honest yeah. esports should be because when you have games that you know i love street fighter but when you have games that are made to be esport you lose out on aspects so the game loses some depth it's made to be a bit more approachable so you can get more people in the scene so you can make more money where smash is like it sells insanely well and the depth is already there like no matter what you do smash is already going to be a technically an incredibly hard game so it's with this one they're like doing the season thing which other games all you know like all do like fighter packs and injustice it's character seasons yeah, in yeah. street fighter seasons in like every game but um something i do hope they do is they need to show the characters because i i personally have no reason to buy the season pass because I don't know what I get. I'm paying like twenty five pounds to oh, to yeah, have right, to have I've absolutely no idea. That's that's <laughs> fine because I did that with Street Fighter for like two years. I just bought it regardless, and it was just silhouettes. But you get excited and you're like, "Fuck yeah, I want to get it." But you know, it'd be nice to go. Oh, here's the characters you're going to be getting along the year, so it's a worthwhile investment. Like, oh, everyone's been waiting for Shadow the Hedgehog and the Waluigi. They're both in the character <laughs> pass. Every, you're going to sell more. On yeah. that, than not showing what's in the character pass and building it on like suspense and these teaser trailers kind of thing. Because like, imagine they showed Joker on day on like you know when they showed Piranha Plant, they were like, "Here's the next character coming. It's Joker," and then showed the rest of the pass. Which so much they would have sold. Yeah, yeah but the the difference the, the other side is that now they get prolonged. They get more of a prolonged sort of. Uh, eyes on the game. Yeah, one hundred percent. You by doing this over time like this, it's going to keep bringing the game back. Yeah, up. people. Are and talk that's about that's it what time. Street Fighter did as well. But I think Smash is such a successful game that I don't think it, it's going to like it, it's going to dwindle out. If you know what I mean. Like yeah, Street Fighter had a lot of problems at its beginning, and every time they showed a character trailer, it rebuilt hype and hope. This this yeah. game doesn't have that problem. 
Yeah. But I get what you're saying. It, it is an incredibly hype-filled thing when you see the characters, like, a trailer, yeah, the, and it's the, the reveal one. The one. one was no one saw that coming. No one. No. So... Is that a pun, was that a pun intended or not? What? Never see it coming. No, I... The song... Oh, God. Oh, shit, sorry, I haven't played the game. diddly did diddly did Great song. I need to play that game. It looks really good. You do. Incredible mm. game. Uh, so, apart from that, uh, there was some stuff that's kind of good but less relevant to us. I don't know. Uh, we'll talk about Tetris 99, I guess. Mm, I can't... <laughs> Battle Royale like Tetris. I would I would like to, to, to play the game, but I'm just... I didn't grow up on Tetris. Didn't play Tetris. So I yeah, feel like I just get absolutely... Like yeah, I'd get absolutely fucking frazzled on that game. But it looks so funny. I was watching some streams of it and you can kind of like target other players so that, you know, yeah. when you make... Or when you clear blocks, it affects directly those people. Yeah, that sounds Yeah, great. it looks funny. I think we should definitely get Rob to try it out. Oh, 100%. Rob Switch. needs to stream it. That would be really funny. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, that'd, be, that'd, be uh, that'd be good. Apart from that, Fire Emblem, anyone? The new one looks cool. I've never played any of them, but it, yeah. it looks yeah. interesting enough for me to want to give it a go. Yeah. Um, yeah, same. At least get into the franchise, and maybe if it's good enough, I might be able to go back and revisit some of the older ones. Yeah. Yeah, that's always been my problem with, like, my DS and Game Boys have basically just been Pokemon machines. Yeah. Mm. When originally, I was that was what my Switch was for as well. <laughs> just got it yeah. for Pokemon. And now I, I'm used, I'm ready to try new things, but obviously this game is like ten or more fire emblems at this point. Mm. The thing is, they're, they're all individual of one another. Like the yeah, stories don't yeah, intertwine or anything. But yeah, I played. I've only played. Uh, fuck it, I think it's Fire Emblem Heroes, the one with Corin in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good. It's it's a really fun game. But like, I was just kind of hoping that there'd be something. A little bit like the combat looks exactly the same as the old the, the older games in th- in three yeah. D, um, which is fine, and I'm sure the the fan base of that really enjoys that. But I was just kind of hoping for maybe a, something a bit more like active as opposed to purely tactical. Yeah, um, but, so it's kind of like I guess how Final Fantasy fifteen has the two options. Yeah, something similar. Something similar to that would have been cool. Yeah, but I mean, it looks good. Yeah. I don't think it looks terrible. They had like the three houses kind of thing going on. Yeah, that's cool. Everyone's going to choose that waifu house, right? The, oh, the Black course. Eagle. No one's choosing the oh, other yeah, two. Yeah. Everyone's going to yeah, take the waifu definitely. house. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, interesting concept. You're playing the role of a teacher, and you can kind of like yeah, cool. improve your students. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's for. If that's for some, basically just a I, fucking military I, officer, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe they're like party, I think it was uh, a military members. School. Yeah, it looked like it. But yeah, it's cool. It looks interesting. Maybe I'll give it a go. I'll, I'll probably, probably not day one, but certainly give it a go. I'd like to hear what Brad if, thinks because uh, all if Brad it's plays not is sixty quid. I'll give it a go. Oh yeah, well I mean, it's, it, it, if you're yeah. buying it off the store, it definitely will be. It might be cheaper on Amazon or something. But yeah, Brad, Brad. The problem with that is that Brad won't be able to play like he can in Smash, <laughs> even with the sword characters. Yeah, because like, I know he was. Yeah, obviously he plays a lot of the Fire Emblem characters in uh, Smash, and he was talking about how he could have, like he was kind of excited for what to see what this new one is. But I don't know. He plays like RTS games, so maybe he still likes it. I don't know. Yeah, he, he doesn't care about the fight. The fact that Fire Emblem characters, he cares that they have swords. Yes, that's true. He could be from any franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine a tactical based Souls game. I think Brad would die. Oof. Oh, could you imagine like a <laughs> Warhammer like? A Warhammer Souls game. Oh my god, he died. That would be the end yeah. of the, that would be the end of Brad. The Dark Souls board games, pretty tactical. Mm. I, he's, he's probably yeah, played he has that. played it. He has played it. Has. Oh, he yeah. yeah. I've yeah. got it on uh, the so, tabletop simulator, but it's single yeah. player as well. Like you can actually do like oh, really? a single. That's, single that's, that's pretty cool actually for a board, board game. game. Mm. Uh, Mario Maker Two. Mm. Yeah. Cool for the people that like yeah, it. Yeah, if you're a big big fan of Mario or you really like doing that creative uh, making levels yeah. kind of thing, I'm sure that's awesome. It's not like... <laughs> you would think that pe- free people who have degrees in game design <laughs> would be more interested in Mario Maker 2. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> no. Nah. No. If, it, I, I, if, it, if there you... was like a multiplayer aspect of it, you could do like races and stuff. Like some, like I know that you can play like other trials, people's levels. So that would be really cool. If I go yeah, it, it might have that. 
Uh, why, why wouldn't I they... know that... Yeah. I People make, like, cool levels in that game. Well, they make some incredibly They're, like, hard really ones. hard levels. Oh, yeah, and I think that would be really cool a multiplayer experience. Just, like, get three or four people together and just just run against each other a bit. Well, it'd be... I feel like it would just be, like, what's that game? Ultimate Chicken Horse? It'd be like that, but not as good. Ultimate Chicken Horse. That is an interesting name. <laughs> Have you not heard of Ultimate Chicken Horse? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So it's basically a game where you all pick a character um, and you there's a, a map and a, flag, the, a start and a flag and it, it, you have to get to the flag and you get, you get like two right. points for winning you don't get a point if you lose and the, the winner is the first to like ten points to, to get to the flag first, however many okay. times. But at the start of every uh, round there's a selection of items that each person can pick, and you've got to you you pick it. Before. It's like it's a free for all of like which item you pick from this box. Yeah, and then you can use this obstacle from the box and put it somewhere in the map to make it more difficult or easier to oh, get to the flag. Okay. So I feel like cool. uh, that if, that sort uh, of thing. If if that was in Mario Maker, I'd be way more interested <laughs> in it. <laughs> There's multiple Marios running around on the yeah. same level, and you just yeah. you just like put a piranha plant somewhere or uh, whatever, I don't know. Like uh, one of those evil shellies or whatever they're called, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. just, or, or a boo or a, what the the chomp is it a chomper? Chain chomper? Chain chomp. Put the, Chain yeah, chomp. yeah Chain just chomp. put just put those just put those down. Like you just have those to pick from. You get like five seconds to pick from this box and you just plonk it down somewhere. Like that <laughs> would be a really cool, yeah. cool game. <laughs> yeah. If they just had that mode oh, Nintendo, if you're watching, there's an idea for Mario yeah. Maker 2. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we try not to upset too many different... I feel like at this point we've only upset Microsoft on, on this no, no, particular show. By, by we, you. You're the uh, one me, that always... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, sorry to Microsoft again, but I think they're the only people we've upset so Step far. Step it the fuck up, Microsoft. <laughs> Jesus. Your games are wank. No. Wow. <laughs> I don't care. I, I, I don't want to get hired by him. I don't want to make games. This, uh, this section of the video will be censored on the request <laughs> of Microsoft. <laughs> Shit. No, I don't want to make games anymore. I don't make Hell games. no. Hell no. But yeah, Nintendo, we're, we're, we're still on board. Oh. If you do want to hit us up with any sponsorship yeah. or, you know, offer me a job or whatever, you know. It's, it's yeah, 100%. <laughs> Nintendo, we love you. Just offer us all a job. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Uh, and apart from that, we'll finish on what they finished on, which was Link's Awakening. Mm. Game that I've not played. A re- well, I've, I've dabbled. I don't think any of us have really played that game. It was like a super nope. old GBA game. I think yeah. I have a copy of it, but I, I never is it really. Even GBA? No, it's no, just, no sorry. It's sorry, ever... it was just Game Boy. Yeah. I just yeah. defaulted to GBA for some reason. There. But yeah, it was just original Game Boy game. Um, I mean, it looks cool. Like The art style's super mm. cool. It's, it's, is this the best way they could have done it? Uh, to, to not annoy people? Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's why they did it like that. Because imagine if they did another, you know, like, fully 3D'd it. You know, like, Breath of the Wild, but no yeah. open world. Yeah. Um, then it kind of... then that it kind of just me more interested. But... Yeah, for me too, that would have been also more interesting, as opposed to top-down. But it, it, yeah. it seems like a thing where it's like, uh, for the fans of the original, yeah. plus people can experience like one of the first games um yeah exactly i don't think we're the audience we're no not, we're not no no they're definitely aiming for the, the hard yeah. world zelda plans, and so. the best part about that zach is that you acknowledge that it's not for you unlike the, oh, the yeah. angry kingdom hearts 3 people fuck you guys seriously <laughs> just don't play the game or go back and play the others Gosh. yeah don't don't play kingdom hearts 3 not play people the walking well, in at least yeah. the other two mates. people walking into like massively established series and then hating on it because they don't understand it's like, ah! So triggering. Yeah. It's so triggering. Kingdom Hearts is probably the worst you could do. Of that. Easily. Easily. But yeah. I think that that would be a good series. Like, that would be a good video. Like, maybe not series, but video idea. What's that? Is if we chuck, like, Owen or someone <laughs> into, like, the middle of a king. Like, that's just the start Dream of Drop King- Distance. Or that's the start of Kingdom Hearts 3, where it's like, okay, so you just finished playing Dream Drop Distance, did you? Here you are. Yeah. Yeah, I'll that'd do be it. good. Yeah. Why not? I love yeah. not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or what? Uh, I right. like I'm not having any clue. Right? Yeah, we'll, we'll consider doing that. <laughs> that sounds funny. Right, so we'll move on from the Nintendo Direct. Uh, overall, I'd score it probably like a five out of yeah, ten. Yeah, very average, very average. 
Um, a bit too go on low. On. Like it wasn't was that too low? It wasn't that bad. It just wasn't what you were ex- as expected. Yeah, yeah. It just, so if you if you compare it to your expectations, yeah, maybe it's a five. But if you just if you take your expectations out, like I, but, but, I didn't, but you would still rate I it like didn't a six. Really, yeah, I didn't really expect anything from it, and I wasn't disappointed. I was just a bit okay. No. I was I didn't hate it. I was a little bit disappointed about the bayonetta and Pokemon not being there. Mm. But other than that, yeah. I, I thought it was I thought it was fine. I would yeah. I wouldn't rate it any lower. Yeah, make me a six, six and a half. They've already said they've got many more of those to come anyway. They're going to be doing numerous um, Nintendo Directs. So we've got more to look forward to. So it might just be that they're staggering what they're showing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I thought it was okay. Not not awful, but I had extremely high expectations, and that's probably why I gave it a five. <laughs> I wanted Sora, I wanted Bayonetta, and I wanted Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, so we'll move on to Scalebound. Some mm. interesting news. This was a game that Microsoft cancelled themselves from Platinum. For seemingly no um, reason. Yeah, really well, there must have been some I like, yeah, I like some, some interior reason. Well, I guess, but like but, not that we knew of. I didn't know why it was why it was pooped. Yeah. But there's rumours that it's coming back. Um, but this time on Switch, nothing confirmed, but rumours that it's coming back on Switch. Is this a good idea? <laughs> Yes, a very uh, good idea. The thing is, right, this was the one I was talking about earlier when it came to Xbox exclusives. This one, regardless of, like, what anyone in here thinks, this had this had fucking hype for it, this game. Like, a lot of yep. it. Um, but they cut this and then keep stuff like State of Decay, Crackdown. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, are they going for, like, safe options there? In like, oh, yeah, it's an open-world zombie game, or it's an open-world... <laughs> Is it is it GTA ish game? Like, no, no, no. State of Decay one didn't do very well, did it? Well, is it? I don't, I, I don't know if it's it. safer than Scalebound. Yeah, but I don't know. It's Scalebound open world dragons. But yeah, you like turn into it, don't Just you? Think or of Skyrim. Like Look cool. how well Skyrim did. It's on fifty four platforms. Yeah, like even yeah. even d- disregarding the corny main character because he looked pretty corny. He did. Um, this game looks sick. I thought. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, this concept is so cool. It could be. It could be great." But I don't understand why they scratched it. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I, I don't think there was ever really any full explanation. An announcement of why. No. Yeah. It just like happened. I remember just seeing that the game was dropped from development, and but I, I it, know the guy you, that was making it correct- was uh, was was like really upset. Yeah. If I remember correctly, every time you demoed it, it ran like shit. Oh, really? Which is on an Xbox One, which concerns me a little bit. For Switch. For Switch, It'll be yeah. fine. It <laughs> will be fine. There's, there we go. That's all we need to know, boys. As I hope so. Owen's confirmed. <laughs> It'll be fine. It will. <laughs> but, yeah, that's Got pretty much my seal only... Approval. Seal of approval. It will be fine. Yeah, that's, that's my only concern, is just, will it be able to run okay? Yeah. Because it's quite a, uh, a step down in performance-wise... Of, or, or yeah, like what definitely. they can push it to, you know. Yeah. But we'll see. I think it's great that it's 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 back for the people that really really wanted that game and were probably very upset that it got cut the way it did. Yeah. So that's cool. I but like if, it. If they compromise to get it to perform well on Switch, if they compromised on it graphically, but if it was a gameplay wise, if it stood up to like a ridiculously good actual game, it just might not be the super gen. Or current gen graphics, I'd be mm. completely fine with that. Oh, yeah, but if it, if it plays well and is mm. a re- is a good game, I don't care how well it looks. Like, yeah, if if a game looks nice, it's a bonus. If it if it plays really well, that's if you have fun playing it. Like, if you just look at things like Undertale and things like that, they're not the obviously it's a different art style, like, but they're not the yeah. most graphically intense or most hyper realistic games. But yeah, but they're a good game. Hmm. So if it's it, as long as it's a good game, I don't care what it looks like, and if it does have really good looking dragons, that's just a bonus. Who knows? Maybe the geniuses at Nintendo will help them optimize and help make the game. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, All it's right, good. So, it's good. So, last piece of, of real news: uh, the Overwatch League is is back underway yes. for all the nerds that like that, me included, I guess. Yes. Ish. So we're not going to talk too much about it because we have. A separate show entirely for that, yep. which Owen is is on. Dedicated to Overwatch. Dedi- purely yeah. dedicated. To Overwatch. 
So again, Blizzard, I know you're going through a bit of trouble times at the minute. If you would like us, if you want to reach out to us, we can give you a bit of a boost with some, you know, <laughs> some press, some some podcast stuff. So we could probably boost your sales and your loot box um, purchases by around 250%. What? So, you know, just drop oh. us a line. You can email us at thegalgoboys at gmail.com. Promising a bit too much there, aren't you? <laughs> and we'll be sure to help you out because our, our new show, the Overwatch League show, is going to do ridiculous numbers in the next few weeks so it'd be cool if it oh, wait, did do you wanna... but I'm, no. I'm i'm taking it just as a show that there's obviously it's both me and sam um are on it yeah we both thoroughly enjoy the game sam loves his stats we both go into like who what predictions who we want to see do well who did do well and um, what teams are like what compositions are being run mostly goats these days but some people have been picking out like sombras and shit and it's been it's been good so, yeah, me, yep. me and Sam have got a lot of the last weekend to talk about for a uh, uh, new video that will be hopefully either tomorrow or the day after. Um, hope I'd want it to be tomorrow. Um, and then we've obviously Let's... got uh, episode zero that came out last week before the season started, after the preseason. Um, so, yeah, be sure to go check that out. Um, me and Sam put a lot of effort into it. Um, it was a good time. And we just, I just, I'm so happy that Overwatch League started again. I, I absolutely love it. And I, I don't mean to be rude, Connor, but you can mm. definitely follow what's going on. You were chatting shit last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, there was a lot of shit chatted last week about Overwatch no, not yeah, being I able did, to I, follow. Yeah, me, I dislike the game. The, the I... slander of me saying that Gen 4 was my favourite Pokemon. Hey, that will be. Um, it, 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 was, it was Zach, actually, yeah. I'm innocent, but, sir. But yeah, and obviously you can't dual wheel needlers in Halo Three, so yeah, just just putting that one out there. But anyway, back to the Overwatch. Um, yeah, it, it's it's really good. I I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm glad it's back on. It's been doing really well number wise on Twitch, um, performing about as well as it had last season, which is good. Um, considering it's only the first weekend as well, it's not even the finals. I'd imagine towards the finals yeah. you get way more viewers. Um, and it was on Disney. It was on Disney Channel. Yeah, it's on yeah. everything. It's on like ESPN yes. and stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, ESPN, it? Disney Channel, YouTube, and Twitch. Aren't they co- and sponsored, by, sponsored by Coke as well? Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's crazy. Pro- that. Yeah, sponsored by Coca Cola. Mad thing. Um, not Sour Patch Getting Kids. Lots anymore. of the money. <laughs> but they do have to lay off 800 employees. <laughs> well, that was. After making a record yeah, profit year. Was, um, there was Blizzard doing that, and it was the, the non development staff. So I don't know who. See, don't I, know don't who like got, there, I don't like. It might be a lot of people who had like, you know, it might have been like people catering like and stuff and things like that. Oh, I don't know what you do. It's like marketing. A lot of yeah, marketing. Yeah. It could be anything. We don't know. They haven't. Yeah. But people haven't come out and said exactly who it was and what they were doing. It might have. It yeah. might have just been eight hundred people who were really underperforming. You you never know. Like. Well, yeah. It, it, but still, I mean, if you're making a record profit year, record profit year, yeah. Probably, but then you realise that you could have made more profit because you were paying people <laughs> who weren't doing a good job. You, know, you don't know what. Well, you don't yeah. know the case. It, if, it if that was the case, yeah, yeah, it would obviously be a case by case situation. You can't can't make assumptions. Oh, yeah. just because they're laying off 800 people, they they just one more. You, you don't know the scenario. You don't know everything. Yeah, there's obviously they they who knows? they pay people to look through the list of who to lay off. So. <laughs> <laughs> most likely yeah. yeah so if if you do if you are at this point sick of me and Connor who are on most of the podcasts uh, and you do want to listen to some longer form at, in times so I guess that, that show will be content from us yep. uh, that's that's the glory of, of the Galgo boys there's, there's quite a few of us so if you hate if you hate the, me and you hate Connor you can still watch our content. You, still, uh, yeah, you, can, people, still, you can still watch uh, the channel. Eventually, give us content, that sweet ad yeah. revenue. There's literally no reason to not fucking subscribe. Oh my god! Yeah, it's not even the end of the video. Stop selling out already. <laughs> Sorry. So there's, there's there's basically eight reasons you could, you could subscribe. Eight. So many. Well, I think there's there's, as as there's you... seven and a presence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so. <Oof. laughs> oh, I'll leave that one. <laughs> <laughs> people to work out. <laughs> so I feel like Owen, you've pretty much covered at that point the um, what I was going to ask about Overwatch as an esport. I guess it's it's doing fine. Yeah, uh, it's, it's doing pretty well. Yeah, it, it it's doing fine. It's one of the it's still one of the top esports out there. 
Um, yeah. I think the game's got a lot, uh, a, a big way to go in terms of balance, but time will tell. Yeah. So, Connor, anything to add to that? Or are we, are we... No, no, I'm done. So, last sort of headline, I don't even really want to talk about it. <laughs> I was just scrolling through the news earlier looking for things to talk this about. This is quite funny, though. <laughs> and I just think that this is hilarious, that this is a stage rat. So, IGN put out this article. And the headline is simply, The Complete Guide to Anthem's Pre-Order Bonuses. Now, I remember when I was a child, I would be on the internet, and be on things like Game Facts and all that, and what I'd be looking for is complete guides to Pokemon Gold. Mm. The game. <laughs> yeah, the, the entire game. game. The entire game. Yeah. <laughs> what I didn't need was a, a, a complete guide to the pre-order bonuses of Pokemon Gold. Yeah. That's like, well, back which, then at Pokemon Gold, that would have been like, here's how you read the instruction manual inside Pokemon Gold. Yeah. Like, oh, made oh, those manuals. Do you remember po- the, the game manuals? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, man. I used, to, so... I used to go to the shop. Yeah. Go on, yeah. I, go on. I'm, 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 I miss the, the manuals in games. Yeah. So I get yeah. so disappointed when I open the box and there's it's just, just a, a game disc. inside and a little yeah. leaflet with like... Uh, health and safety on it or something or buy yeah. more of our shit yeah. yeah it's it's because it was hype like you go to the shop you your mum buys you the game and then you, you're in the car on the way home yeah. and just read the manual literally you, over and over you, and over, you and over again the cell- yeah. you rip open the cellophane <laughs> open the box you you whip, you whip out that manual you just sit there and read the manual like nice and quiet like in the back of the car just getting just yeah. hyping yourself up to get home and play it's beautiful it's like kids like, kids these days don't get that Nah. No. Kids these days don't go to the but, shop to buy games. Speaking of Pokemon pre-order bonuses, I don't know whether this was actually a pre-order bonus, but does anyone remember? I, I think it was. I think it must have been Fire Fire Red Leaf Green. When you bought the game, you got one of those wireless. Yeah, like, the little. Adapt- yeah, oh yeah, the wireless it, adapter. It plonked that was life changing. Onto the top, so you didn't. It was yeah. like goodbye link, link cable. Cool. Yeah, it was like the wireless link cable, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was that, that was a game changer. Game. See, that's a fucking pre-order item. You get the ability to not like have a. Was you that pre-order? Did you don't I have to. Game? I think it just came with the game. Actually, yeah, yeah it did just come oh, with. Yeah, it. But, say, yeah, it it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah you 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 would go on, you'd great. go you'd go to game or game station back in the day. It was it was yeah. close? Game station was closer. Um, go to game station, pick up the game, and then. On the it, while you were sat in the queue, there'd be those um, like the shelves with all the the, the guides and the walkthroughs and all that. Like you you pick one of those yeah. up and you you walk out, oh, rip, rip <laughs> open that game, open the man, read the manual a couple of times, and then straight into the walkthrough book. Incredible stuff. Yeah, I miss those days. So go on, Connor. No, 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 nothing. So so that's the end of the news. Um, Quite a week, but I think we've we've talked about some pretty pretty fun stuff. We've covered a decent amount. Mm, yeah. We're gonna talk. We're gonna actually do probably the first official version of this segment, <laughs> and that is uh, the classic already staple of one of the, of this podcast. Is it an RPG? And so basically, if you're not caught up, how it works is that Ed thinks that no games are an RPG, <laughs> apart from maybe like. Skyrim, Mass I think Effect? he said. Oh wait, no, they? sorry, Skyrim, yeah. Um, so things like Mass Effect is not an RPG, according to Ed. Whereas everybody else is normal, and everybody else thinks that an RPG is an RPG. And so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly talk about a game. We'll do this probably every every few weeks. Can I ask quickly? It does, why is Skyrim yeah. considered an RPG? I think, as opposed I think to like other games, there isn't like a fixed. You you can sort of like um, do your own thing in it. Like whereas in Mass Effect you've got like the story to follow. There are like side quests, yeah. stuff, but you you can't you can't just shepherd. run off somewhere and go kill a farmer. And yeah, like and so I thought I thought this particular yeah. game would be an an interesting one to to ask about first. And this is Breath of the Wild. Now, Owen, have you have you played Breath of the Wild yet? No, I haven't. Um, my, but you have an idea yeah, of, of my, my what the game Yeah, my housemate got it and they said that I could borrow it and I was just oh yeah I'll, I'll borrow it at some point but I've just, I've just not got around to playing it yet but I've, I've <laughs> yeah. watched people play it and I know of the game yeah that's fine that's that's enough to contribute to this this, this commentary okay. so basically what what we're going to do is I want to think from, from Ed's point of view 
how could he say that Breath of the Wild is, is not an RPG? Because I consider it... I probably consider it just about an RPG. We can't he would kill say, a farmer. No, yeah, he would say it wasn't. And I know he would say it wasn't. Because you can't because, create your own character. But, yes, I agree. But it's, like, completely open, pretty much, from the get-go. You can just do what you mm. want. But, but yeah, you, you can't... You can't stop something happening by going and killing the main source of it happening. <laughs> like you can't, you, you can't change the outcome of a quest by stabbing someone in the throat, and then yeah, or like you, you, you couldn't if you had to. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of like if you if someone lost their cat and you went and got the cat and you brought it back to them and the person paid you um, ten coins or whatever, or. Ru- rupees, rubies, or something. I don't know. It's rupees. Yeah. yeah. Rupees, yeah. So if, if you give them the cat back, and then you then couldn't just kill the cat. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that's what Ed. And that, yeah, and that, an that's what Ed would want. And if Ed couldn't do that, he'd be like, "Yeah, it's not an RPG. I'm not immersed." Right, as a as so, a reasonable person, I think it is an RPG. Oh yeah, yeah. I I completely agree. It is yeah. definitely an RPG. So you've got things like collecting gear. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you gain abilities, kind of, by sort of yeah through the through the temples the, uh, or the well not temples but the guardians the big yeah not guardians yeah I forget what they're the called guardians yeah yeah uh, it, look, I think it's the guardians. guardians shoot lasers at you they have another name oh. another name oh. but you forget what you know what I mean uh, I know what you're talking about the four the four big ones yeah yeah the, yeah, the, yeah. the big beasts. the big yeah divine beasts divine beasts yeah you gain you gain abilities every time you do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah they give you new abilities yep. there's no real skill tree. So that's a point for Ed. Yeah. Um, again, no character customization really. Well, well, no, you can buy. You can change your hairstyle. You can change your your gear. armor. You've got numerous different weapons. Yeah, so I'd say that's a point for us. Creativity can, of uh, when it'd be able you, to kill people. Can like you, you can bed, catapult point things? Can you bed a fair maiden? You cannot bed a fair maiden. No. Then again, no. probably not an RPG point by Ed. Ed's standards. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah, you can't fucking Ed. shag in Skyrim. Can you? Well. You can, you can't, mm, but you can get married. You can get, get married, married, but you, you can't. can like adopt kids. Yeah, so I think Ed, that class is that's enough for Ed for the RPG. Scale. By the way, I feel like Skyrim. What happens in the occasions where you kill a important NPC and they don't die, they just go unconscious? Does that does that then mm, for that encounter thing, yeah. break if, break the rules see, of the RPG? If, see if what it's a key NPC, they, yeah, they just go unconscious. And yeah, die. yeah, you can't kill him. You can't kill him. So what happens then? Huh? Is it an RPG? Questions asked. Is it an RPG? In Skyrim, you can't kill children without a mod. No. There you go. You see. There you go, Ed. It's time to answer for your crimes. Yeah. Unless you want to go into the source files and change everything <laughs> up. It's not an RPG no, anymore, not. boys. We got them. I think maybe what we could do as well on this on this segment is is swap it around and find a game that Ed does consider an RPG. <laughs> and we dismantle it. And yeah, dismantle it. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that sounds not. really good. That sounds good. That's not an but, RPG. But there's like, there's like two RPGs that exist in, yeah. in okay. his what mind. Was, what was that other um, genre that we came up with? Like story focused. Oh, story, uh, action, story focused game. Story bit. So, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Something yeah. Like, is, is SFG Breath, and Breath SFG. Breath of the Wild wouldn't even fit that really, would it? Because it's not super story. It's, it's based. not. It's, not it's stories like what? Get the Divine Beast, beat Ganon. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. And you can do that however you want, which makes you it. You can go there straight away RPG. with a fucking bin lid as a shield if you wanted to. Yeah. So I'll be interested to see what Ed actually thinks of Breath of the Wild, but I think we can put the official Galagor stamp on Breath of the Wild being RPG confirmed. An RPG. Boom. Yep. I stamped my screen. <laughs> That's it. Locked in. Locked in. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I know. I know. I did it last week. Is there anything we've talked about this week that Brad can't play? I don't think there is. Uh, he's got a Nintendo Switch. Anything. True. Oh, actually, never mind. What? Well, the X- gonna, we, we had a whole the Xbox up. bit at the start. True, but he can play those games on PC. He can, Maybe yeah. some of them. Mm, maybe not, yeah. Maybe not some of the, the older for- Forza games. Mm. I feel like no one's really missing out, though, not having an Xbox, you know? No, not really. I haven't used mine. It's just sitting down there under my bed, just chilling. Yeah, and I'm looking at the games we've been playing this week, and I'm not seeing anything that Brad can't play either. No, not really. I mean... I have played Kingdom Hearts 3, which Brad can't play, mm. but I wasn't going to talk about it. Mm. Well, so, talk, talk I mean, about it. 
Yeah, I'll talk about it briefly. I'm still playing it. I'm I'm too uh probably too I'm in the Rapunzel world now. So probably like three or four worlds in. Oh. Including the like the Kingdom Hearts worlds. Yeah. Um game's good. For some reason it's not it is not gripping me as much as Kingdom Hearts one and two. Hmm. Can you can I'm you can you sure point, why. can you like pin pin why that is? No. Ah, uh, I f- the game. I know I said this like at the start. It it feel it looks weird. It it looks like an unreal. Well, like you've just gone from like <laughs> it looks like a tech. Demo. You've just gone from a PS2 game to a PS4. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. It might be that. It looks like a tech. It looks like something that a student, you know, in students play like Pokemon in Unreal Engine, mm. and it's like, oh, this looks sick. Mm. It feels like that, but for Kingdom Hearts. I'm enjoying yeah, it. I, but I didn't really have it, those problems. I had like other I have other issues with the game. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that at some point. <laughs> In a lengthy right, discussion we'll move, video. We'll move on. But again, um if I can be bothered editing this video, here would be the Brad Claxon. Cool. So we're gonna talk about what we've been playing. I've just kind of hinted on it, but I've not been playing too much this week, apart from I've been streaming some Metro twenty thirty three. If you don't know me, um, I basically can't play a sequel or a third game in the trilogy without playing everything else first. I did it with Kingdom Hearts. I have to play every game in the series the, r- within reason. Mm. And so I started playing Metro 2033. It's fun. It's good. It's a bit janky at times, um, but... I feel like I'm going to reach a point in that game where I, I physically can't do it because I'm going to run out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just be, I'll just have to give up. But the, the game's fun. Um, it's got some pretty unique aspects. I like the sort of, um, you have to basically decide whether you want to spend your, mon- your money, which is ammo, which is one thing is cool. Like your ammo is your currency. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, neat. So basically, yeah, so like if you can cons- conserve your ammo, you can then spend that on gun upgrades, um, filters, you know, so you can breathe outside for longer, that sort of thing. I think that's really cool. I'm surprised that, considering this game came out quite a while ago, nobody else has, that I know of has done something like that. Yeah. That's, un- that's super that's a, unique. Yeah, it's a cool feature. I really like it. I wonder if I wonder if they've kept that going into the next two games. You, I hope so, because it's cool. It gives them... It actually gives you a reason to conserve ammo. More than just the the threat of running out completely. Yeah. Like there's a benefit to it as well on the other side, which is cool. And I've been playing Civ Six DLC, Gathering Storm. Uh, Sam would be the best person to talk about this. Yeah, next time Sam's on, you should have a conversation about that game. Yeah. Oh, and you've been playing a tiny bit too, right? Yeah, I played it on Sunday when you guys. Like, I had I had so many issues after I reinstalled that game. <laughs> uh, I hadn't had it installed since it basically came out. I played about three hours of yeah. it when it came out and it didn't hook me as much as it did um, Civ 5 um, and yeah. I saw, I, pass, I I passed on the Rise and Fall DLC um, but, I, yeah, but I got I got this DLC um, yeah. and so I, reinst- I, I, reinst- I bought it, re-downloaded the game and I just yeah. I, I couldn't, couldn't launch it so I went into so much troubleshooting debugging and ended up reinstalling Windows um <laughs> I eventually got it to work. Joined you guys on Sunday and had a lot of fun. Um, and yesterday I was playing a bit uh, solo as well. It, it it does seem better now. Um, oh yeah, it, I do. Yeah. I do like the changes so far. I'm not. I'm not like far enough in to really say, oh, I'm I'm fully into this now. But I am enjoying it. I do like the um, the sort of climate change. I think that's going to be cool. Late game, which I've not reached yet. But that's going to be cool how that can sort of like... Because originally you would almost always build a city on a coast or a river. And you still probably should do that. But now there's sort of a risk reward system involved in that. So you can you, it, it can be flooded or the sea levels can rise. Which can basically just wipe... I think it can wipe your city out if you're on the coast. Yeah, I, th- yeah, I think so it, it, makes you... it can. And there's all sorts that it can do. Um, it can damage your city. I don't, I don't know if it can straight up wipe it out. I know it can damage yeah. it and you lose like population and things. Um, yeah. you, if a volcano erupts, your units will take damage or die. But then there's all every yeah. time a bad thing happens, there's a chance that a good thing will happen afterwards. Yeah, quite, of course. Quite yeah, like it's good. The, um, you can do the same. That's the same with like the, 
the golden ages and stuff as well. Like if something good happens, something yeah. bad could happen. It's, it makes it more varied and yeah. more interesting, which is what you need in a game like that, Definitely. right? Yeah, I think it's only a good cool. thing. Oh, of course. Connor, mm. uh, Smash as usual, is there, is there anything new to talk about or is it the same as always? Uh, same as always. I'm suffering through a real bad character crisis though at the moment. <laughs> <coughs> um, Play uh, Piranha Plant, mate. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just feel like I'm pretty much like waiting for DLC characters. Like if Sora comes yeah. out, I feel like I'll be pretty set because yeah. I'm just we're so far down this Kingdom Hearts rabbit hole at the moment that I just want to play. I'd love to like just main Sora if he came out. Yeah. Um, but I'm also I, I also kind of want to see the others. I don't know. I'm just not sticking with anyone at the moment. Having fun with Falco recently, so I might try him. Mm-hmm. But like nothing's sticking with me. And um, otherwise, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Yeah, so you and Rob have been playing through this. Yeah, so I played, um, I played. Oh. What is it? The original Kingdom Hearts games, like when they originally came out, and didn't really play anything in between one and two, and then two and three. So I just played the the numbered the numbered uh, games, yeah. and I want. I really enjoyed playing through three, and then I was like, "Fuck it, let's go back and play all of them in the final mix, and then get two point eight and or well, get the two point eight thing, which I think has Dream Drop Distance in it." Um, yeah, it does. So I just want to kind of go through, play all of them. I'm pretty much finished Kingdom Hearts 1. It's just that I refuse to to stop playing this game until I beat Sephiroth. So you've got hours and hours and hours Yeah, left so then. I hit 65 today. I've got to like, was it round 20 of the Hades Cup? <laughs> so as, as soon as I beat that, I'll be in Platinum Cup, which I think is where Sephiroth is. I've got elixirs. I'm ready for him. I think. I think when I get to about seventy-five or eighty, I should be comfortable to take him, assuming that I play perfectly. Um, yeah. And then, and then just beating the game, and then on to uh, the other ones, which no one's building any Chain hype for Chain of Memories. No, just don't play it. I'm gonna play it. You should play it for fifteen minutes, just so you can realize why you don't want to play it, and then and then you'll be done. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see how I feel about it, but I would like to play through everything originally the plan was me and rob were gonna both get ultima weapon in kingdom hearts 1 but it's actually the the dumbest thing i've ever seen like this is harder to get an ultimate weapon in this game than most final fantasy games it's the most (laughs) grindy thing i've ever seen in my life the fact that you have to synthesize everything before you can get it and then the materials for it are hard to get anyway it's. Uh, yeah. I thought Kingdom Hearts 3's Ultimate Weapon was hard, but it actually makes it look like a cakewalk in comparison to this. Fair enough. But yeah, that's what I've been playing anyway this week. Fair enough. Uh, Owen, Yo. some RuneScape. Of course. Anything Anything interesting to add, or is it just same old again? Um, like no, it's just been doing the same old. Um, yep. I, I do have some corrections. I remember last time I spoke about it, I... Um, I said my account was nearly 20 years old, but it wasn't. It was nearly 15. Um, oh. So, yeah, there was that. That's a bit, bit of a big difference. Um, it was well, still 15 oh, years. Well, it's still yeah, quite a long but time. But people who, if anyone goes back and be like, oh, we can't have done that at that date because the game was yeah. the game <laughs> was only 18 years old. It's like, well, yeah, I went. I was just going off the top of my head what I thought it was. But no, it was 15, nearly 15 years. I, in like 100 days, I get my 15-year cape. Um, yes. But yeah, no, there's a double XP weekend coming up uh, this weekend. Uh, so I've just been prepping for that, really. Be- buying, uh, stockpiling resources so I can go hard and get. Um, I'm hoping to get two more 99s. Um, that's cooking and um, herb law. I'm closer <laughs> on herb law. I'm already 96. It's. It's crazy to me how you can be playing that game for 15 years and not have done well, everything. Just because because I, I've not... Um, there's a massive time where I haven't done a lot in there. And it's yeah. the same with, like, um, with my World of Warcraft. There's times where I just do essentially bank standing where or in both games. It's a thing where you could just sit at the auction house for hours and get nothing done. And in RuneScape, yeah. you could just sit at a bank and just do nothing. And you got. I was also when okay. I was a kid. I was just terrible. I was. I was absolutely <laughs> awful at the game. Uh, I'm still not. Even, I'm still not very good at it. I'm pretty bad. I just know. I know more, and I'm. I'm just. I'm slowly doing what I'm enjoying doing in the game. Like I'm just. I'm just trying to enjoy it. Really, it's like 
as, as yeah. with anything, if I if I if you rush it, you might not enjoy it as much. So I'm just taking my time and yeah, just yeah that's making right. the most out of it. No rush. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so I mean, apart from that, that pretty much brings us to the end of this week's episode. Gone on for for longer than I thought it would. To be honest, we've had a pretty decent chat. Love it. Um, and regarding announcements for us, obviously the podcast goes up weekly on Thursdays. The Overwatch League show will be going up. Um, I think it's technically meant to be every Wednesday, but that's gonna for the first few weeks yeah. it's gonna fluctuate. Hopefully, it'll be on Wednesday. Yeah, Sam's got some new stuff in the works. Connor's always working on random bits and bobs. Yeah. Uh, we stream Three. weekly. Well. Multiple times a week. I, uh, Three days a week we let try. Let me think. Let me think. Sunday. Is it Tuesday? T- today. <laughs> it's Tuesday today. Is it meant to? It's Tuesday no, today. It's Tuesday one of our days. No, no, no. It's no, Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Sunday. Friday. Yeah. So Wednesday nights, Friday nights, Sunday nights. Yeah. Uh, we do stream sometimes in between that as well. Yeah. But they, we should really always be streaming on those nights. So check us out if you're interested on the Gallagher Boys Twitch. Mm. We're aiming for the sweet 50 follows. Basically, to let you in a secret, if when we hit 50 followers on, on Twitch, what we can then do is use our Amazon Prime accounts on ourselves, and then what we can do is cover the podcast, uh, like the hosting, hosting service, service basically. Yeah. So that, that's, the, that's the goal with that. Um, you have to maintain apart from, as well. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure if you have to maintain, but I feel like we'll, we'll be fine maintaining anyway. <laughs> I don't think we'll plus, drop plus a lot. I don't think we get a payout until we earn over a certain amount. <laughs> Owen, oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, apart from that, uh, we'll see you next week as usual for the podcast. Uh, I've been Zach. You can follow me on Twitter at Zacher. He's Z A C E R H Y. Connor, anything to sign off with, mate? Nah, just usual. Just follow us on Twitch. Yep. Owen. Yeah. Um, I'm on Twitter somewhere. Owen says a Z one. Not not often posted, but occasionally. Fair enough. That's fine. If you want to follow the actual account on Twitter, you can. That's at Galago Boys, I believe. Um, it's mostly me tweeting stupid shit, but if that's what you're into, you can check it out. I usually sounds tweet reasonable. when we go live on Twitch and post. What did you say, I Owen? said it sounds reasonable. <laughs> you post some stupid yeah, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound reasonable, doesn't it? Uh, so, yeah, check that out if you want. And until then, thank you for watching or listening. You can find us on YouTube, uh, iTunes, Spotify, most other smaller podcast services at this point um, and until then I'll, I'll see you next week I'm sure the boys will as well yep. peace guys <laughs>